Sure. Hi, Ryan. It's Jamie. Hi, Jamie. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing well. All right. Let's do I'm this so in glad. three, two. It's the Big Wake Up Call. I'm Ryan Gatenby, and time for my next guest. I can't believe we are at the unofficial start of summer, and this summer we can actually do things. We can have a, a cookout <laughs> and actually have people attend a cookout. Let's uh, catch up with some great hints and tips, and uh, Chef Jamie Gwen, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. And yes, it is the official kickoff to summer and time to celebrate, right? Because we get out uh, and... We get to celebrate with family and friends. I, this really does feel like a, a big to do to me. I think last time it wasn't that feel that long ago we were talking about holiday meals and just the world has changed so much since then and so much hope and Isn't optimism. And I'm, yes. we, we, can, we can venture out beyond our backyards this summer, but when we mm -hmm. are hosting a barbecue, more than, more than just my wife and kids can attend. Exactly. Family and friends and, you know, time to celebrate around fabulous food. And I agree with you, Ryan. I, I think this is really um, an opportunity for all of us to, uh, to celebrate. And, and that's what I'm all about. And of course, it, it has to have deliciousness associated. So I brought you some of my best tips for summer grilling. Um, I have some delicious Perfect. recipes as well. And then um, I have a drink for us to start because we should sip and savor, don't you think? I, there's something, I don't know if it's psychologically, I don't know if it's just uh, ingrained in us, but I can't be on the grill without a drink in my hand. <laughs> I like that about you, actually. Yes. Um, okay, so you've got the grill fired up. You're going to need it for my barbecue snack, but first, you're going to stay cool with what I call the berry back serve. So you simply pair a chilled can of Smirnoff seltzer, red, white, and berry, with one and a half ounces of original Smirnoff red, white, and berry vodka spirit. So it's super simple, but I gotta tell you, so refreshing. And it's the limited edition seltzer that everyone loves, by the way, zero sugar, 90 calories. You get cherry, citrus, blue raspberry. But if you haven't seen it yet, you wanna check out the new release. It's a premium malt beverage from Smirnoff called Smirnoff Ice Smash Red, White, and Berry. It's in a large format, you know, perfect for the barbecue season. And of course, as you sip, we ask that you drink responsibly. Now, okay, Ryan, here's the snack. Are you a chili head? Do you like it hot? I do. Okay, I do too. I love spicy, as long as I have something to tame it a little bit. So when it comes to a summer barbecue, I like to bring the heat. And this is my best barbecue snack. I wrap almonds in aluminum foil, like in a packet. I'll either throw them on the okay. grill as the grill is heating up, or if you've got a fired up grill, just one minute on the grill is enough. But it warms the almonds through and their flavor absolutely comes alive. Now, I use Blue Diamonds Extremes almonds. If you haven't seen them yet, they're made with real peppers and they have mouth blazing fiery flavor. So they're a superfood in three super hot flavors. There's cayenne pepper, ghost pepper, and Carolina Reaper. They have oh five gosh. grams of plant protein. Oh yeah, uh, an excellent source of <laughs> antioxidants. They're really delicious, I have to tell you. I'm a blue diamond lover, I always have been. So for the chili heads, rejoice, right? They're available now at major groceries, uh, amazon.com. You can go to bluediamond.com to find them near you. Why have I never thought of that, of throwing almonds on the grill? Like, that has never occurred to me. But, yeah, you get the spicy, you get a little smoky flavor in there. That's got to be delicious. Yeah, they are. And the heat really, you know, heat brings out flavor, of course. So they just need, like, to be kissed by the flame. That's it. Um, and, by the way, keep that foil packet in mind because I'm right be before you let me go, I, I got to tell you about that. But I have a, a, a side dish and a salad, actually so that you can pair like your signature barbecue chicken or your famous ribs. Um, but when it comes to side dishes, don't you think that they should be super simple, Ryan? Well, it's hard, and especially when you're trying to juggle everything and you're on the grill and you want to greet your guests. Yeah, I agree, the sides need to be uh, a no-brainer. A no-brainer, make ahead, whatever you want to call them. Well, even yeah. if you're, even if you're uh, bringing a dish to share or you're hosting, Lundberg makes organic white rice pilafs that are a shortcut to deliciousness. So they cook in 20 minutes, but they taste like you made it from scratch all day. 
And my favorite is the cilantro lime rice because it pairs perfectly with my barbecue chicken and I make it in advance and you could dress it up or enjoy it as is. But the Lundberg side dishes are more than just a basic side. They're organic and they, they use and feature clean ingredients. And that's really important to me. So you can order directly from the farm. How cool is that? At shop.com. I know shop.lundberg.com. I love that. I like that. Well, you can't get any fresher than direct from the farm. It, exactly. Right. And you can't get any fresher than a summer salad. So do you have a signature summer salad? Because I do. I, I don't. I never really think about uh, salad in the summer, but I know I need to get a little healthier. Well, they really do bring that like f freshness, flavor component, but also texturally. I'm always looking for texture, right? So for your next grilling get together, you have to make this. Oh, and by the way, in honor of National Olive Day, which is June 1st, it's an olive and avocado salad with tomatoes, cucumber, and feta. So people who love olives love and trust pearls olives. They're perfect for every meal, in my opinion, because my home state of California is where you grow black ripe olives. Long summer days and cool evenings, and it's paradise here. You can see and really taste the difference with pearls though. Um, what I love, Ryan, is that the uh, pearls company is committed to keeping jobs in the US. And I think that's really important. Uh, they also put the highest quality olives in their cans and cups. So we posted the recipe for the olive and avocado salad, tomatoes, cucumber, and feta, which is, by the way, crunch of the cucumber, like lovely acid sweetness of the tomatoes, creamy avocado, briny olive. It's got everything. Posted the recipe at dailylounge.com. Now, that kind of salad sounds fantastic. I'm used to going to a barbecue, and it's just that sad, wilted lettuce salad that's been oh, sitting no, outside no, for no. an hour. No, you know what? You yeah. make a good point. No, I, I don't think summers lend themselves to leafy greens. I think you're better off choosing the veggies that lend themselves to a salad well, and you'll maintain that texture and that crunch and that flavor. Now, remember that foil packet I mentioned to you for the olives? You got excited, which yeah. I love. Yes. Okay. When you're done eating all of the Blue Diamond Extremes almonds out of there, you take the aluminum foil and you ball it up and you go and clean your grill grates because by the way, it makes the best scouring brush. You do not have to ever buy a grill brush again and waste not, want not. It's a great way to use that foil. That aluminum foil in a ball will clean your grill. That is another great tip. That's a good one to know. <laughs> I hope you use it. Let me know how it turns out. Now, I want to see a picture of your clean grill. Okay. Well, I'll, 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 put, it on, uh, I'll put it on Twitter, and uh, we'll, we'll tag you on that. I would love it. Thank you. Again, recipes posted at dailylounge.com, and my daily dish on social at Chef Jamie Gwen. And that's, uh, of course, Chef Jamie Gwen. Well, let's uh, talk again before the end of summer, because this is always fun. I would love it. Thank you for having me back. Appreciate it very much. Happy holiday weekend. You too. Thank you.